Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to install KMS Server in Windows Server 2022. KMS stands for Key Management Services, and we're gonna show you guys how to create and apply a group policy object on our domain controller, as well as how to install KMS Server services on Windows Server 2022. Before we get into that, if you're interested in purchasing Windows Server, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software, we'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so for the purpose of demonstration today, we have server one, this is our domain controller, and then we have server two, which will be our KMS server. So on server one, all right, so the first thing that we're gonna show you guys, again, is how to create that GPO on our domain controller. So we'll open up group policy management. We can find that from the start menu. And in the group policy objects folder underneath our domain, we're gonna right click and we're gonna hit new. We're simply gonna title this allow KMS. You can title uh, whatever you want. We'll hit okay on that. All right, with that new uh, group policy object created, we're gonna right click on that, and we're gonna click edit. Inside of here, uh, computer configuration, we're gonna go underneath policies. Within policies, we're gonna locate Windows settings. Next up, we're gonna click into security settings. And then in here, we're gonna find Windows Defender Firewall with advanced security. We'll drop that down, we'll drop down uh, again on the advanced security. And here we have inbound and outbound rules. And the one that we wanna create is an inbound rule. So we're gonna select it, we'll right click on it and we'll hit new rule. For KMS server, we want to select port. And the port that we need is 1688, which is what KMS uses. Okay, so we'll hit next. Uh, we're gonna hit allow the connection. And then in the case of this demonstration for the lab, I'm leaving this default and so I'm just gonna hit next again. Uh, and then click finish. And then lastly, we specify the rule name. I'll leave that as my name and we'll hit finish. All right, so we've created the group policy object and at this point we need to apply the group policy object. So I'm gonna apply this to the domain controllers OU. So we'll right click on that folder, link an existing GPO, allow KMS is again that one we just created and we'll press okay. All right, now we're gonna move on to server two where we're gonna install the roles and features required for KMS server. All right, so here we are, server manager. Again, we can always find our server manager from our start menu. And so inside of here, we're gonna click manage at the top right. We're gonna click add roles and features. We'll click next here. Uh, we're gonna leave it as a role or feature-based installation. Select our server from the server pool and the only service that we need here on the server roles is volume activation services. And we'll add the features associated with that. And then we can just click next all the way through. And we'll go ahead and click install. All right, so from here, what we would do is we would go into our volume activation tools, which brings up this wizard here. Uh, we can select key management service, KMS, and hit next. It's gonna retrieve the information from the computer and this is unfortunately where I'm gonna have to stop. I won't be able to show you guys any further configuration because I'm not actually utilizing a uh, KMS server to activate machines. The host key is something that comes from Microsoft which would allow you to activate the server and then get that up and running for whatever your intended purpose is. So hopefully this was kind of enough to get you guys running. We just wanted to show you how this works as well as how to create and apply that GPO in your OU. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about any parts of this process, drop those in the comment section below, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below as well. We strongly encourage any video topic ideas that you may have. And lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated and helps make more videos like these possible. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.